this is such a terrible piece of legislation as the trial attorneys would lead us to believe, then why would our U.S. Supreme Court, as well as our Missouri Supreme Court, have both deemed this statute of repose as legitimate limitations and have they have a reasonable purpose? Also, why do other states around the nation also have a statute of repose that is so awful? For instance, Nebraska is 10 years, Iowa, big farming state is 15 years, Illinois 10 to 12, Kansas 10, Kentucky 5 days, Tennessee less than 10, and on and on. Our situation is one where I really want to focus on the innocent retailer's exposure, whereby we often are called into litigation because the manufacturers are no longer viable 10, 20 years, decades later, and are in a position of trying to defend against someone who candidly is no longer available, documentation is not available, and much as the prior gentleman indicated, depending on the case, that we had nothing to do with the design, the manufacture, the packaging, the warnings that were required for the product. So we certainly are in support of the bill, and we urge and ask for your support as well. I'd sure like to go on the record and support this morning. Last year we talked about several states that have statute of repose. 15 years is certainly a very reasonable approach. Most states come in in about 10 years, 12 years, something like that. So I think this is a good approach, and certainly with the useful safe life exception that's in the bill, we do think that's a good balance for plaintiffs and defendants, so we support the bill. Thank you.